past two weeks have just been unbelievable. Blake and Miranda's wedding, followed up the next week, a trip to Cancun. Don't hate me because I'm Cancun. That's not the reason why I go Trent Wilman on the head side. Trent Wilman's coming to the local Stafford Rodeo. Comp has such a big ego. Yeah, we'll have a contest. Big guy. Can I have the handicap? You mean more than the one you've already got? Tom, the pressure's on you. We're going to win tonight, right? <laughs> My name is Tom McMillan. I'm an outfitter, hunting guide, and an all-around outdoorsman. Around here, we work hard and play harder. But that's not hard when you've got friends like mine. I'm a big buck hunter, son of a gunner, camp on the riverbank kind. A hero lover, good to my mother and brother, let me tell you why. Well, I'm back roads out in the sticks, down home, red bull hick. Country as it gets and proud to be. I'm home. About a year ago, Blake and Miranda were going to come up here and turkey hunt. We'd already known that he proposed, so we knew we were going to have a toast to celebrate the engagement. And during the toast is when Blake asked me to be his best man, and Miranda asked Jackie to be a bridesmaid. We were honored to get to stand up with both Blake and Miranda. I told myself I was not going to cry at all, but, you know, when she comes down the aisle and I'm looking over at Tom standing up behind Blake and him giving me the little wink, it was like you kind of get caught up in the moment. That was Miranda's goal. She wanted everybody at the wedding to fall in love all over again. Thinking along the lines of a best man and knowing that white-tailed deer and hunting are such a huge part of Blake and Miranda's lives, I pitched him the idea of building an enormous arch that they would stand under while they were getting married, made out of shed deer antlers. That's the back side. This is the front side. But when they saw it for the first time, they got a pretty good idea that it was every bit and maybe a little bit more than they thought it was going to be. Like it? Do you like Love it? it? It's beautiful. That was a mission accomplished for me. But it looked awesome. Thank you. That's all I needed to see. If they're happy, I'm happy. Headed to the beach. Headed to Cancun. Well, I'll let you know how it goes. Surely they got a fish down there I can catch somewhere. Bye. You gonna be here when I get back? I should be. Don't hate me because I'm Cancuning. That's not the reason why I hate you. All right. Hey, have fun building the fence. All right. Yeah, I'm on the list. I've got a list for Dave every day. It doesn't matter if I'm going to Cancun and sitting on the beach. Tom gives me a list every time I see him. There's stuff to do around here. You can't be taking off going on vacations and stuff without somebody to do your list for you. Since they were going to be gone for three or four days, it was a pretty good sized list. not around it gives me the opportunity to work and do it my way I don't have to worry about how Tom wants it done I do get a little jealous I mean who doesn't want to be on the beach in Mexico with servants bringing you drinks how can you not be jealous if you're stuck here mowing and spraying and mucking horse stalls. Did I mention I caught a seven foot fish? Wow, look at that. You see? That 
Did you hear? Did anybody know? Realize that? <laughs> Seven foot fish. something for Dave because a two hour and 15 minute flight back home is just long enough to make another list. Trent Wilman's coming to the local Stafford rodeo this summer. Hey man, you're out of retirement. Big Mac. In all seriousness, the past two weeks have just been just unbelievable. Blake and Miranda's wedding followed up the next week by a impromptu trip to Cancun. So we get back from Cancun and we're helping our buddy Verlin out with putting on his roping. I roped on the family ranch and farm as a little kid. It wasn't for fun. It was because something needed to be done. A wild cow needed to be caught or a, a baby calf was sick. And that's where roping and rodeo started, is out on the ranch. I uh, went to college on a, on a rodeo scholarship in the team roping event. That's when the competition in kind of kicked in for me. I'm not really sure how it came about now, but somebody spouted off that Trent Wilman's coming to the local Stafford Rodeo this summer. And then being the genius that I am, I said, yeah, let's rope in it. And then he took me up on it. There's a church and a filling station where you get your gas. Then there's Dixie Rose and Rose. Trent Wilman is a Texas-born and now living in Nashville country boy, singer, songwriter. Yeah, I got four of everything in there. Just There's a lot of aspects to Trent. We've got a lot in common, man. He's a pretty well-rounded guy. What I originally knew about Trent was basically just singer-songwriter. What I found out since, you know, horseman, roper, but he's an outdoorsman, too. I'm glad to get a chance to come out and rope and to escape the city and, and uh, yeah, and have a good time out in the country. Hey, man! It's literally been one year to the day since I've rode. Guess what, little buddy? You're out of retirement. It's one thing to look like an idiot and fall off and hurt yourself, but out of rodeo, when everybody there is there to win and beat you and beat you bad and embarrass you, don't do a thing. Yes, he's a real horse, even though he looks miniature. And then I realized I had to start practicing again. So today we're at Pratt, Kansas. A good friend of ours started putting on a local backyard team roping event. My horse is getting a worried look on his face. Hopefully, by the time Trent gets here, I won't look like I've never done it before, like I'm about to look like here in a minute. Well, thank you all for coming today, despite the wind. In order to put on the roping, you need somebody who calls off the teams on a microphone, make sure everybody comes in order, and that's how you keep everybody moving so that it doesn't drag on all day long. Over the years, I've had to announce Sandy, my sister-in-law, she helped with the timing of it. There's money involved, the winner for the day, the overall roper, he wins a trophy saddle. This is Clint Bowman, Paul McMillan. There are a few rules. One is that uh, you need to rope the steer around either the horns or the neck and turn them off to the left. Secondly, the healer needs to catch either one or two feet, stretch them out, and then you get the flag and that's where you get your time. Two feet, good job. Peace. I mean, there can be better conditions. Oh. Yeah, Sorry. Again, Sorry, Kurt. Add into the factor a 40 mile an hour crosswind. No time. It's not an excuse, but it doesn't help. You can laugh now. Well, Big Mac, look at son of a. It does sound like you're making just a few excuses, though. Just about to see a mental breakdown. Even though you really didn't win any money or the roping, you did win this fine prize. Randy Benford and Tom McMillan. I won money. You hear that? Fast time. Won something. It doesn't represent a fast time. This is actually the closest time to the worst roper of the day. I made some mistakes. 
but I can't take back. What I'll need to do for the Stafford Rodeo coming up is practice, maybe. I'm out of excuses. There's nothing left to do but win. I'm saying it. I'm saying or I'm calling it. We'll see. Well, today we're in my hometown of Stafford, Kansas. Congratulations. Well, we've got uh, Trent Wellman coming in. This is kind of like a little vacation for me to get a chance to go out and be a country boy again. And as soon as he gets in, gets his bags unpacked, all that stuff, Trent and I are going to go make a few runs and uh, get ready for the rodeo. You up for this? You bet. Good. I might fall off. That's all right. Me too. I'm looking forward to it. It can all go right or not. It can all go wrong. Or... I mean, if you if you fall off, I will too. Oh, perfect. That's I mean, good. just to help you out. No, man, anything to help my ego would be nice. <laughs> today, we just had to get a few runs under our belt together and to get Trent used to the horses riding. It's not fun to show up and just be tossed on a horse that's loud and winnings a lot. In just a few hours, we're heading into the rodeo. Trent's going to sing the national anthem for us. Yes, sir. I'm actually looking forward to that more than shooting that loud horse later. You're looking forward to me forgetting the words, aren't you? I'll be the one down there mooning you. Would that help you remember or forget? I should ask. It's not the moon spangled banner now. Ooh. That's good. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Not bad for the first time you've ever shot it. Tom's got such a big ego. Yeah, we'll have a contest. Big guy. Can I have like a, uh, a handicap? You mean more than the one you've already got? I've met a lot of interesting people. And Trent Wilman was one of those guys that as soon as you meet him, you feel like you've known him your whole life. How about them deer up there on the wall? Well, you're pretty serious when you're talking about chasing big deer. I never stuck a big deer with a bow. What's your drawing? Uh, 27 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I got a new present for you, man. Really? I'm gonna class you up a little bit. Send you home with a new Elite. Oh. They actually sent a wrong drawing pen for, for somebody else that I'm going on an elk hunt with this fall. But I've got a brand new in the box, 27 and a half inch drawing up there. Man, let's go you shoot like it. it. Yeah. You, will. you like it, you take it back with you. All right. You got to promise to bring it back and use it later, like in deer season. All right, you got a deal. I mean, I don't want it to be a paperweight or a hat stand. All right. Deal. I'd love to. If you outshoot me, then the deal's off. <laughs> Explain to me how much trouble is my tractor in right there. Are we well, in? As long as you're not standing next to it, how much are those tires a piece? About $1,100. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be in the barn with the door shut. Good thing. Not bad for 25 yards, the first time you've ever shot it. I think he was pretty pleased with the equipment that I put in his hands. He got gutsy enough to challenge me to a shoot-off. What are we doing? So we're matching for dinner. Right on. Seriously? Can I have, like, a, uh, a handicap? Since yeah. you're the pro? You mean more than the one you've already got? got? Tom's got such a big ego, and I wanted desperately to kick the, the stool out from under him. Yeah, we'll have a contest. Big guy. Winner take all? That sounds good. Son of a... That one might actually be in the center of the circle. Damn it. Let's see what he got. I'm, 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 I'm out of all three of them. So you can beat that. chance here. That's I'm beatable. Yep. Well, I saw my little window of opportunity where, you know, he was kind of all over the target. I found that it's easier to shoot with an arrow in. Oh, you got... Two more chances to beat me. Maybe third time's a charm. All I gotta get is one in there to win. Yes, I'm gonna mess with him a little bit. You can sing. I can do other things. <laughs> you can't handle that? How, how are you gonna handle a big Kansas buck walking in on you? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you hit it? I don't care if it's shooting a bow, arm wrestling, midget toss. I'm in it to win it. Well, I guess we can end the contest right now since... I won! All right, I'll 
you dinner. How fun with your new toy? Thank you, sir. I will. We're gonna win tonight, right? This September. Yeah. What? You did. Obi. I've never seen anybody that shows up from Nashville, never seen my horse before, and can rope as consistently as you can, not wearing any pants, and drunk. You know, had you done your research, you would have found out that I do my best work. Pantsless and pantless and drunk. So. The, what, annual 54th, 54th annual Stafford Kansas Rodeo. In the Midwest, the ranch country, team roping and rodeo and all of the events are a way of life. Rodeo in, in Kansas and really all over the United States is a big deal. It's just a tradition around here. I mean, there's been some some critical accidents happening in the world of team roping and rodeo, but you just don't allow yourself to think down that line. Well, we showed up just before the rodeo started and uh, sang the national anthem. From Nashville, Tennessee, Mr. Trent Wilkins. Oh, can you see by the I was actually more nervous about that than the rodeo. With the rodeo run, you know, it seems like a little more pressure because you get one chance at it. It's basically timing. Your swing of your healing rope, the position of your horse, the speed of your horse, the speed of the steer, the steer's back feet moving in succession, it all has to be timed together. I have faith in you, man. I hope so. We're going to win tonight, right? Yeah. <laughs> On the head to side. Tom McKellen over the feet. Here we go. There it is. Tom, the pressure's on you right there. Yeah, that's what we do. It went great, fortunately. Tom didn't miss. <laughs> Unofficially, that is sitting second. To know that you can come in and be on a, a strange horse and go out and make a solid, good run and end up sitting second in the performance of a rodeo. First off, it's almost unheard of. Secondly to me, it's just super cool. We might get a check. We might buy the ice for our drinks later on tonight. If you stop drinking now, it might buy the ice. Yeah, so much for that. Every Friday afternoon, I hitch up the trailer. Saddle up old rock and ice down the cooler. I drive an old bike road until it ends. Trent sat out here at the fire pit after the rodeo and, and sang us songs for hours. Now that I think about it, I probably owe him one of them Kansas hunts I've been talking about. We got them rusted out pickups and fancy rigs. But if I have to put it into uh, what's my favorite, just because I got to experience it with him, I mean, you can't beat the rope pan. I got to do it with him. And then I got to hear him singing at my fire pit. It doesn't get much better than that. Well, I ain't no player speed. I had a great time. I was just really glad to get a chance to come out and rope, and I don't get a chance to do that much, you know, here lately. And it, it just, it was fun. Half the fingers on his hands to the roping bed. And it takes a little skill. And a little love. And you can talk some mag if you can back it up. Oh, well, we're all friends. No matter who wins. Down at the rope and pin. Yeah, that's a great thing. The most important thing to me on the Cancun trip.
was not forgetting about my little fat buddy back home. You remember Cooper? Well, I'd like you to meet El Cooper. Don't look at me like that. Looks good on you. Like blues your feller. <laughs> on the next episode of Tom's Wildlife, I was invited to uh, meet up with Laurel Bundy. Did you wake up with the cheerleading outfit on? <laughs> I'm going to put you out of your element as much as possible. Laura Bell said, I'm going to take you to New York City. Hi! I thought I got my first mugging. My first time in New York City. You just about to put a deer stand up on top of that. There are so many people here. They're like ants that have been set on fire. I'm not sure if they know what they're getting into. <laughs> wow. You need some food? There's a guy standing there. Please help. Need food. Uh, seriously, that happened. Woo! That was new smell number. We saw two men getting married. You don't find that in the country. <laughs> love is love. Not Kansas anymore, so though.